So nowadays, it feels like every piece of cinema or television are products of already established properties. After all, these projects do make the most money. So after a decade of nonstop Marvel DC productions and countless remakes, prequels, and even the occasional sequel to retcon the original sequel, is it safe to say that Hollywood has run out of ideas? To put it bluntly, no, Hollywood has not run out of ideas despite the illusion the past decade has cast over us. And in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what that illusion is and how going forward, this will be the status quo at the box office. First, I want to touch on what film actually is so we can set the parameters of what an actual idea for a film or show could look like. Film, yes, including television, is storytelling. We all know that. But at the root of storytelling is the human experience, and that's how we connect to these stories. So whether you're watching Call Me By Your Name and you're experiencing love, loss, and joy just told through the lens of a gay romance, or you're watching Schindler's List and you're experiencing what the worst of humanity can truly offer, while also learning th that the choices of one individual can make a drastic difference in the life of another. And in the case of Schindler's List, that's told through the lens of the Holocaust. So when you ask the question, has Hollywood run out of ideas? I'd say no, because you can't run out of the human experience. Everyone that is brought into this world looks at life in a different way and experiences it as so. I mean, in the past five years alone, we have had an abundance of original stories that touch on very separate but relatable human experiences. And here's a list of my personal recommendations if you need help finding something to watch. Now, you're probably asking, what about this influx of superhero and IP movies that you open the video with? They all exhibit the human experience in some aspects, so why does it seem that we're getting more of these projects than the original stories? Those two questions, and I hate to burst anyone's bubble that thinks this isn't the case, but it all boils down to the fact that these bigger IP blockbuster films have the bigger audience. The story of whatever particular IP we're talking about never matters, really. I mean, let's take Spider-Man for an example. If they announced a new Spider-Man film was releasing in theaters tomorrow, without a trailer, without a poster, without any sort of marketing, just the announcement that a movie, a Spider-Man film is coming out in theaters tomorrow. As long as a project has an already established name attached to it, people will flock to see it. Take 2019's The Gentleman, for example, written and directed by Guy Ritchie, an original film from the man that brought us movies like Snatch, and was overall fairly well received by both critics and audiences alike, and made a total of 100 and 15.2 million dollars. Now, any movie, like a movie like After Sun, would kill to have a box office run like that. But on the opposite end of the spectrum in that same year, a film like X-Men Dark Phoenix, a film that notoriously flopped with the critics and audiences, raked in over 250 million dollars. No matter how good an original story is or the creator it comes from, the audience is substantially lower as compared to films like Dark Phoenix that have that Marvel or IP in general connected to it. That is why we see this influx of comic book movies and IP films because as of right now, the audience for those types of films are the highest in demand that they've ever been and in turn makes the studios the most money. And what does all this mean? For one, Hollywood isn't running out of ideas and they never will. But the reason why we feel like they might be is because of this overbearing influx of superhero and IP content that stems from us. The only real way for a studio to see if we like something is the numbers, and the numbers show that we love our soups, we love our IPs. But that doesn't mean that original non-franchise films don't have a place in the realm of entertainment anymore. Because no matter how many Marvel projects they release a year or on how many screens a single production might take up, films like The Last Duel, Titan, After Sun, Hereditary will continue to be made, and I think it's more on us as an audience to go out and support the types of films that we love to see. So the next time we ask the question, has Hollywood run out of ideas? Pull out your AMC app, pull out your Imagine app, pull out whatever theater chain is near you and check the theaters and see if a film like The Last Duel or Hereditary, After Sun, whatever it may be around you guys, uh, go see those films. Put your wallet where your mouth is and support the original stories we say that we are deprived of. Because at the end of the day, we're not starved of these stories. They are everywhere, all around us. You just need to know where to look. Original stories will always be here. It's just a matter of if we as an audience decide to support these films. I hope that didn't feel redundant by any means. I do feel like I was repeating myself uh, pretty often in this video. But I hope you guys can take away something from this video so you can develop your own opinion when it comes to the topic. Has Hollywood run out of ideas? Whatever your thoughts are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Do you think Hollywood is running out of ideas?